Let's wait for people to come on, shall we? Yes. Okay, actually, let me check to see if I'm on. Oh, yes, there I am. I'm on my own channel. My volume's working. We're good to go. Okay, down you get. Oh, careful. Okay, jump on, say hi, introduce yourself while we wait for crew to come on. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, comments. Ah, oh, hi, Lee Gray from Queensland. How are you? Where are you guys all watching from? Chat, chat, chat. Let's have a chat while we wait for crew to jump on. Give me some hearts. Let's all say hi. Let's get to know each other. Hi, Deb. How are you? Beautiful. Just cleansing and cleaning my space after a busy day of readings. Hi, Sarah. Sarah's from Perth. Hi, Jason. I'm well, thank you. How are you? How are you going through your dark night of the soul? I think that was you. I'm quite sure that was you. Hi, Sharon Scott. Hey, Carrie. From my magnesium bath in Auckland. Now that sounds very nice. Good girl. Magnesium bath, so good. Not just only for the physical body, but so good for your energy body. I often have salt baths or magnesium baths to cleanse and clear my auric field of any debris or any stuff that's sitting in it that I can feel that is a bit sticky and that isn't mine. Okay, so Jason's doing well. Hi, Katie Peacock. Hi, Sharon Scott from the Morning Peninsula. Deb's watching from the central coast of New South Wales. Ah, oh, Carrie, thank you for sharing. So, guys, if you could jump on and start sharing my live, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Or even, let me just hop on this and check these comments, even jump on and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put the link at the start of this live feed. So if you either share, you can do both, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, then I'm going to give you a reading and I'm going to give you a longer one. Um, Hayley says, I watch your YouTube on Monthly Tarot and it was definitely resonated. Thank you for saying that, Hayley. I love and appreciate feedback. Hannah's watching from New Zealand. Whoa, so beautiful. Rhonda has shared. Thank you, Rhonda. I Really, really appreciate that. Just checking to see why I can't get comments. Hey, come here. Say hello, everybody. Oh. Say hello, everybody. This is Penny, Princess Penny. She, I am just babysitting her for quite a while. So we're just getting used to each other. Aren't we, baby girl? She's 10 months old, a little rescue. She's got a lot of trauma that she's got to get through, haven't you, baby girl? So, yes. Say hello, Penny. Thank you, Deb. Okay. Hi, Michelle from Brisbane. So good. So we've got a few people that have shared for me. So if you could, when you've got a question, guys, place subscribed, shared, and or, and then your sun sign or your star sign next to your question. If we could have questions that are kind of specific, that would be amazing. Or, uh, hello, Gary says, hello, Princess Penny. <laughs> so cute, but oh, kind of naughty, right? No training whatsoever. I think she must have lived under a house or something because she was covered in mange up until a couple of weeks ago. Poor little thing. Hi, Nick. How are you? So if, okay, Melanie, hello. Hi, Deb. Hi, Shamila. Okay. Beautiful. So I think that's enough of us on here, hey? I'm just going to, oh, here we go. Sharon's watching. Mar Marita, hello. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Catherine. Okay, guys, so let me introduce myself. My name is Jessica Brown, a.k.a. The Energy Muse. I am a physical empath. So what I do and the way I work is I tune into your aura or your energy body intuitively and then I feel on my body where your blocks are on your body and then I get channeled messages or information from my guides as to what's behind the blocks. 
okay i also get my information through the tarot and i get it through clear cognizance and clear audience and clear voyance hey pia so yeah lots of things there i'm also a meditation and yoga teacher i'm a holistic counselor a reiki master a sound healer a breathwork practitioner so lots and lots of different things i have dabbled in but my love of all things love is the tarot and astrology. So that is what I'm here to share with you tonight. I am giving brief free readings. So I'm in your energy for only a few moments, a few minutes. So nothing too heavy, no medical questions, no pregnancy questions. Even though I say that, I still get them every single time, but that's okay. And if you see trolls on here, please let me know, guys. Let me know if there are any trolls offering you free readings apart from me <laughs> because we don't want that energy on this live feed. Now, the way I choose who I'm going to read for is the first thing I look for is shared, subscribed, your star sign, and your brief specific question. Okay, I'll scroll up and I'll scroll back down the feed. I don't go in any order and there is no rhyme or reason to who I choose. Jason says, I am not pregnant. Hey, I saw a documentary the other day and a guy was, oh no, I digress. It was a guy having a baby, but he was transgender. So, yeah, he hadn't gone through the full operation. But he was living as a man, so it was kind of fascinating. So, Jason, whether you're going to transition or not, there is still... Oh, no, that's not. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? <laughs> I have been doing too many readings today, I think. <laughs> okay, I think I should just stop talking, hey, and get started. Uh, hey, Buda, I'm just popping in to say hi. Ah, uh, hi, Bailey. Thank you so much. Mm. Yeah, they've been around the trolls we're talking about. Yeah, I feel like I would really love to roast them, but then I don't really want to draw attention to them either. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Now, let me have a little scrolly scroll. Oh, thank you, Sharon Scott, for sharing. Now, let me scroll all the way back up to the top. So I hope you guys are all really well. Hey, anything exciting happening with anybody? Let me know. Let's chat amongst the feed. Okay, okay. Someone's watching from Brisbane. Yay. Ah, oh, thank you, Medea. She says a beautiful space you have there. Thank you. Venus is part of my ruling sign, so I love beautiful spaces. Okay. Da, 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 da. Rhonda says shared. Hi, can I have a message, please? Sure thing, Rhonda. Now, have you got anything that you would like a message around? Or if not, I'm just going to give you general, okay? So Rhonda Kane would like a message. Cool. Let's see what's coming up for you, Rhonda, or what it is that your guys would like you to know. Message for Rhonda. Okay, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, amazing. So you're off to a beautiful start already. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple of cards that have popped out there. I was only going to do the two, but never mind. So Ace of Pentacles, Rhonda. So this is Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. This is all about new beginnings, new beginnings coming in in a big way. Aces are really are quite a big deal. I kind of see them as a minor version of the, the major arcana. So there's something new that's coming into your world, and it's coming in on a very practical level. So whether it's something to do with money, with your career, with work, or even with your body, this this might be you starting a new fitness program. I don't feel career energy as much, but yeah, it's something new coming in that's very tangible. Now you've got the justice card stepping up here. So this is Libran energy, Venus in Libra. Um, so this may be something to do around just creating a little bit more balance in your life, Rhonda, because I feel like sometimes you do do a lot for other people and they, sometimes your self-care can be a little bit on the limiting side. So I feel like there's a little bit of balance needed. Now this could literally be a card of having to sign contracts, new energy coming in so say this could be like are you thinking about buying a house and maybe there's some contract that you need to sign around that or like I said it could be around about having to um, you know creating new fitness programs for you maybe implementing getting your body up and moving either way this feels really good it feels really really positive just be careful in mercury retrograde at the moment if there is any contracts that you're needing to sign that or you're going through any kind of official documentation that you sign that you check and double check every single thing before you sign anything 
Pentacles is coming up here and this is Mars in Capricorn. So this is the card of, it can be the card of study. It can be the card of business. Um, it really is a great business card actually. So whether there's something going on uh, in the business or in anything like that for you, Rhonda. I'm not sure about that. Uh, again, it can also be a card of counselling as well. Um, yeah, so this is when you get uh, general questions, then you get very general answers. So whatever is going on for you, Rhonda, just know that it feels really, really good. It feels really, really positive. There's new energy coming in. Watch if there's contracts that need to be signed. There needs to be a little bit more balance maybe in your life. And I feel like there may be something to do with if you've got a business, maybe you're going down the track of expanding around your business or something. But yeah, this feels more like a health card to me. Okay, what's been going on with your health lately, Rhonda? Have you been having to go to the doctors or the hospital or any visitors like that? That in recent times make sure that you give me feedback because when you when I get feedback I can expand on the reading okay Rhonda so I hope that has resonated with you I'm wondering if there's something going on with your grandkid at the moment with one of your grand like uh, I'm feeling younger energy so I'm assuming grandchildren because the more I'm sitting in your space and the more I'm sitting in your energy I'm starting to feel some stuff yeah with one of your grandkids maybe and your right knee okay so I'm not sure if you're having issues with your joints but if you aren't maybe start looking at taking some glucosamine or some fish oil or some turmeric because I'm starting to feel some pain in my right knee and in your joints, okay? I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist or anything like that, but intuitively that's what I'm feeling will be good for your energy, Rhonda, right now. Okay, okay. So let me know how that resonates and if that resonates for you, Rhonda. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Belinda says, oh, I keep freezing. Mercury retrograde. Mm-hmm. That is Mercury retrograde. My Zoom has been playing up all day long. So annoying. And it's retrograde in Scorpio, which is a huge part of my chart. I'm all Pluto. So I'm kind of Scorpio energy, big time, is a big part of my chart. So I'm going to get reamed big time during this Mercury retrograde. So I should do a disclaimer. There may be some swearing in this live. So... You know, don't watch it with your kids. Hi, Lee Wild. Hi, Mark. Oh, Rhonda, yay. Subscribed in Cancer. Okay, a message for Rhonda Kane. Oh, my God, there you are there. Hilarious. I was just going to give you a second reading. My Lord. Okay, now let's scroll, 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 scroll. You see, has Rhonda given us any feedback? Okay, let me scroll all the way back up again. Okay, let me have a look. I'm saying it. Medea, is that right? Medea Reinhardt. Sorry, I am notorious for butchering names. Medea has shared and subscribed and giving me her sign. So you are going to get a reading, my love. I would love to know what areas of my life are in alignment and where I'm not. Beautiful space. Okay, what areas of my life are in alignment and where I'm not? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit differently for you, Modena, and I'm just going to shuffle here. Let's have a look and see what area of your life are in alignment and where I'm not. So where should your focus be? Okay, so the focus is on your 10th house at the moment, Medea. So 10th house is um, is how we're seen into the public. It's kind of like our personal persona. It is our career. It's our job. And it is, yeah, it's kind of like how we show ourselves into the, in, in, into the world. It's really about... Um, your reputation and things like that. So I'm wondering what's happening with your career at the moment, Medea, because you kind of guides are saying that there probably should be more of a focus in this 10th house area, which is actually, it is Capricorn too. So you're in your own house here as well. So more focus on what's going on with your career. Okay. Not so much work, but and a, yeah, career. Okay. And, 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 and how you're projecting yourself into the public. Are you a little bit hiding away at the moment? Are you a little bit, um, housebound as well? Are you in, uh, um, Victoria at all because this is saying you know get your get out there a little bit more shine your light out into the public okay let me have a look okay so we've got a couple of cards here that are thrown out so mm, interesting okay so Medea we've got this card here and this is Mars sitting in Gemini so there's a lot of anxiety a lot of overthinking going on for you at the moment 
Or this could just be also, like, how are you sleeping? How's your sleep been? Um, but this is the card of, yeah, it's literally the card of overthinking, overthinking everything. And, it, and we overthink things until we get ourselves into a state where we're now starting to find lack of sleep, okay? What's coming up next for you here as well, this is Mars sitting in, in Scorpio energy. So there's a need to let go of something. There's, there's a mourning period, okay? It's not really heavy mourning. It's just a, a releasing and a letting go. And then when you work through that, when you sit in the emotions of grief and when you sit in the emotions of letting something go, you'll notice that there's fresh new energy sitting behind you. This feels like it's something that's sitting in your past, Medea. I don't feel like this is something in the right now. This to me feels like it's something that you've been holding on to in your past, okay? This feels like it's where you're sitting right now. What's coming up for you is you've got Jupiter in Capricorn. Again, your own sign and your own energy. So this is just, again, about being a little bit ungrounded, a little bit out of alignment, right? And there's decisions that you can make around being able to anchor and align a little bit better with this energy of this house here, with your career, with your stability, with how you're seeing and how you're projecting yourself into the world. Okay, so there needs to be a little bit more energy around that. I'm just going to do one more card here. Hi, Charlene, welcome. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, Marika, of course you can ask a question. Welcome, welcome. Okay, beautiful. Medea, I love this for you. So we've got this energy here sitting in Mercury. So the magician has coming out. So basically, what I'd love to know what areas of my life are in alignment and where I'm not. So this is saying, again, so what areas are that you're not in alignment, like I've been saying, in the areas of your job, your career, and your work. And where you need to come into alignment, it's about trusting and having faith in spirit. Because this card comes through, okay, to say that, you know, you, you, you're a manifester. You have the ability to create whatever it is that you want to bring back into alignment, whatever it is that you want to create and manifest in your life, okay? So once you get out of your head, okay, once you get out of your head, there's something that you need to release that you're sitting in from your past, which is holding you back a little bit emotionally, okay? Get some grounding there. Do some better grounding and then start to work on manifesting, okay? Pretty sure the new moon's coming up in sat uh, on Saturday. So use this opportunity, take this opportunity to manifest what it is that you want, okay? Medea says, yes, thanks. I've been looking at leaving my current job I've been in for 10 years. Yeah, beautiful. I'm hoping to start my own business next year. And the magician energy is, there, is saying, you know, you've got everything you need to to be able to draw that and to be able to create that and be able to manifest that. It's interesting because that's that two of pentacles energy about leaving the job, about creating a new job. Do I do this? Do I do that? Because pentacles are tangible things, experiences, okay, around things that we can touch, feel and see, like money, like your career, okay? So this is really amazing, Medea. I do see that this is coming for you. I honestly do. Maybe take your time, though, easing out of the job that you're in. Um, this is when I get feedback. I can fit, is, sink into the energy a bit more. Okay, I don't feel like right now, have you said that you've left that or not? Because to me, I don't feel like you should be doing anything rash. I think you should just sit, take your time, build up your uh, your confidence because I feel like what's blocking you and where you're not in alignment is in the area of your career but also in your confidence, in your confidence about leaving something that you feel very grounded in and then going into something new. So, Use the magician energy, okay? Build up your solar plexus energy. Work on your self-confidence. And then I do see... Hi, hubby. Yes. And then I do see you I'm stepping into something that's going to be really filling you with light, okay? Yay. So Medea says, thank you so much. Literally just been thinking today that I'm ready to start creating the content more spiritually aligned. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Amazing. Amazing. But work on your confidence. Work on your confidence. Okay. And it, it, it is hard. It's like um, playing to leave a rounder after your mile long. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yay. Good girl. So don't go anywhere yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, Marika. What is going on for Marika Aquarius? Oh, actually, um, I've got some stress around my neck here. Now, I'm not sure if that's your energy, Marika, or if that is the energy of Medea. I'm just going to start writing crew down because I like to keep track of who I've read for, and I haven't written anyone's name down yet. Marika. Marika, this feels like it's your energy. What's happening with you? Where's some stress sitting here, right in these, these traps, right up here? Oh, some stress and some anxiety. I feel your stomach energy. Whew. 
Okay, let's have a look. Would love to know about doing some studying and work situations. Okay, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, my love. I do see studying coming up for you. I don't know why I'm getting a health thing, like a, um, I don't know why I'm getting, uh, I'm seeing a receptionist at behind a, um, like a doctor's, uh, a doctor's surgery, a doctor's studio. I don't see you doing um, going into the role of reception or anything like that. But I don't know why I'm drawn to reception and doctor's studio for some reason. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to scroll down so I keep in touch with everybody's comments. Okay, Belinda says I'm dying for a reading. <laughs> don't do that, my love. Don't do that. Okay. Okay, Belinda, I'm going to read for you next. Everybody remember that name? Belinda, I'm not going to bother trying to say your surname. Actually, I'll give it a crack. Capitan Oconoconus. <laughs> Capitan Oc... Oh, Jesus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, and actually I'll write that time down, 5.49. So think of a question, my love, if you haven't given me one yet. Well, I'm looking at Marika. Okay, Marika, Marika, Marika. Let's have a look. So... Study, study, study for Marika. Hmm. Early childcare is coming through for you as well. What are you thinking about studying? Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to put them back in. There's too many. Too many. Too many for my brain. Let me just slow down. Slow down. There's that energy again, Mars in Scorpio. Three of Wands, beautiful. And again, more Mars energy, Mars in Aries. And there we have it, holy school. Okay. Mm. Now, I don't feel any, yeah, interesting because I don't see any studying energy coming up we've got something that you need to let go of my love so something that you're holding on to emotionally from your past okay this is a morning period this could be something that you're sitting in right now so this feeling of uh, despondency this feeling of grief okay this could be something that you're sitting in right now so I wonder what's going on so this could be anything really um but but you're feeling very kind of like mm, okay so that's that feeling that you're sitting in now and there is some emotion behind it that I feel like you're holding on to that you're not releasing and letting go of I, and it's, it's interesting because it's coming through that you feel a need to be strong all the time so this isn't the time to do that whatever it is that you're going through or working through whether it's in your past or it's in your present it's important that you connect into the emotions because I'm really drawn into the water in the back of this card connect into your emotions let it go and I see these two beautiful cups behind you sitting there waiting for you to turn around and acknowledge the beautiful energy that you're sitting in now you've got three of wands in the middle of this spread and this is Aries sitting in um, sorry Mars in Aries so this is about you waiting it's really about you waiting to you know what's on the horizon for you what's going to be coming in the ones are our passion they're also our intuition they're our creativity they're our joy so it's like you're kind of sitting there yeah, you, we usually put the hard work in at the ace and the twos first. So then we're kind of sitting back and we're waiting for the hard work to come to fruition. But this is kind of, this is to me, you looking out, thinking, what's next? What am I going to be doing next? Okay, it's really, I don't know what people might be saying around you, do this, don't do this, do this, don't do that. But this card here coming through is about really standing your ground. Okay, Mars is coming through in Leo to be like, stand your ground. Stand your ground and work out what it is that you want to do. And then, yeah, just keep going with it. Don't listen to other people's input or advice, okay? This card comes through in a big way. Okay, let me just get a um, one more card around this for you. Okay, yeah. So this is coming through about reminiscing, looking back into the childhood, emotional connections. I, this feels like there's something that you're holding on to that you're not letting go of. But also, too, early childhood came up for me around you. So are you thinking about going into studying being a, a, an aide or something or something to do with children? Interesting because it's interesting that that came through earlier and now this card comes through. And traditionally it is the card about reminiscing and about um, nostalgia and about looking at our past and things from our childhood. But the more I'm in your energy, this feels to me like you're going to be doing some work with children. Okay, this feels like doing some work with children. I'm going to do one more card around this. I want confirmation around that. So feel free to give feedback. 
Mm. Okay, we've got Hangman. Okay, so this is Neptune energy. So this is about connecting into your intuition. This is the energy of Scorpio. So intuitive energy here. I don't feel like there's anything happening anytime soon. Okay, so this isn't the right time. I feel like the right time for you now is kind of just to do what you're doing. But I do see study in your future intuitively, not in these cards. So that means it's not coming up anytime soon. This is about just sitting and just chilling and enjoying where you are right now. There's no movement in this card. And actually, just be careful of your knee. When I look at this card and I'm feeling this energy, be careful of your knee or be careful of something to do with the legs, okay? Because this is a card of no, no action, no action. And I'm wondering because I did see that medical receptionist before, so I don't want to throw anything out there, but be very careful, okay? So no studying for you yet. No, um, I don't know about work situation. Um, but, yeah, this was around studying for me for you. But I feel it coming up, but just not yet. It, right now it's not a time for you to do much. It's a time for you to just be sitting where you're sitting and enjoying the moment, the spiritual growth from the, from the waiting, okay? I feel like I'm talking really fast. When I channel, I talk really fast, and I talk really fast anyway, so it's just, yeah. Can you guys even understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when I was younger, I had a stutter, a really bad stutter. So I normally... Yeah, I feel like I'm sitting in the energy of, um, yeah, speaking of childhood. And when I to get over it, I used to have to just, mum used to say, now just calm down, Jessica, take a big deep breath and focus on your words. Focus on your words. And I'd be like, because I can tell you what frustration is. Frustration is having a starter and wanting to talk as much as I like to talk. Mm. But... That's my Mercury in retrograde when I was born. So we're all often born with planets in retrograde, but it's when they're the, you know, so that's not really a big deal. That's no big deal at all because um, some planets can sit in our sign for quite a long time. But when it's a personal planet and it's a fast planet, then it is a big deal. So Mercury is a big deal. When you're born with Mercury in retrograde, there's probably issues with your learning, uh, yeah, and, we, and, and how you learn. Problems around learning, like I also had ADHD, undiagnosed, but I know I definitely did. And if you knew me, you would be like, yep, that bitch had ADHD for sure. But, yeah, so learning difficulties. Um, so mine was ADHD and a stutter. But, yeah, amazing, right? Okay, I'll stop talking. Um, <laughs> Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda. Oh, hello, my love. Rhonda says, some, some uh, what are we calling this? Not confirmation, feedback. Okay. Rhonda says, thank you so much. Spot on with the joint pain. It has had me awake all week. Oh, God. I'm not sure about the business part. I will watch for it. Okay, beautiful. So turmeric is really great as an anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Fish oil, but definitely go and see about that, okay, because that is not good. Yin yoga, guys. Yin yoga is amazing for joint stuff. Okay, I'm a yin yoga teacher. I am a vinyasa teacher, a yoga teacher, a kids teacher. But yin yoga is the, the youth elixir, is that a word, for your body, for your skeletal system, for your joints. But what it also does is it opens up and releases the fascia, and it's in the fascia that we hold a lot of our shit. We hold a lot of our subconscious programs. We have a lot of old negative um, limiting patterns of behavior and negative self-talk, okay? Our programs can sometimes sit in that fascia. And so when we sit in the pose, and you can like do it in your bed in your pajamas, when you sit in a pose, you're releasing a lot of your story in the tissues of the body, in the joints, in the bones, and you're rehydrating your joints. So it is amazing. I will start doing some you uh yin free yin on my youtube channel if you mofo subscribe it's amazing it really 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 is and you feel taller you feel longer you feel freer and you can do it in your pajamas in your bed it's beautiful so i teach it as a restorative version so it's just like yo watch tv while you do my yin no i really love to weave a lot of spiritual concepts into my yin class okay Hey, Tammy, Tammy Preston, girl, you do need to do some yin yoga. Hi, Jazz. Uh, Christy Gilmore says, I seen you for the first time the other night and I was most drawn. Thank you, my love. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Alicia. So these guys are watching from my page. Okay, okay. Now let me have a look. Tammy Preston. Hi, Jess. Anything comes up for me, please. Tammy Preston, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Hmm? 
<laughs> I'm in a stupid mood tonight. Sorry. Shouldn't say stupid, should I? Silly. Silly mood. Silly mood. Okay. I've had a great day, though. God, such a good day. Taught yoga this morning. Spent some time with my girls. And then I've literally done readings all afternoon and some content for my YouTube channel. So your monthly star signs, star readings for November are coming up. So I've done half of them. So jump on, check that out. Check that out. Okay, Tammy Preston, anything that comes up for me, please? Well, it's coming up that you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, girl. Let's have a look. What's coming up for Tammy Preston? Tammy, Tammy Preston. Oh, hello. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Yay. I love this for you. Jupiter. This is abundance. This is a benefic planet. Jupiter is amazing, guys. Jupiter is amazing. Jupiter is about expansion, right? About, um, yeah, big ideas, expansion. It's a beautiful planet. Okay. I love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Ooh, okay. So we should have stopped at Jupiter. <laughs> No. Okay, so we've got this beautiful energy of Jupiter coming in for you, my love, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is cyclic. Okay, so you're coming to the end of a cycle. This is also very karmic. Now, this is the card I would have liked to have seen from Marika because I feel studying coming up in this card. So are you learning something? Are you studying something? Are you starting to do, uh, are you branching off and doing something new? Because the next one that's coming up for you is Sun in Virgo. So whether you're starting some, some studying or starting something new, it, this is something that, you know, what you're doing and what you're sitting in, I feel like you should expand on that and try maybe offering something a little bit different, a little bit new around the body, right? Because Virgo is the body. Virgo well, is um, the sixth house of health and of giving service to others. But this card is about just doing things that you love on a daily basis. This is the apprenticeship card. This is the card of learning and studying new things. This can be the card of going back to old hobbies that we, that we left behind because we got too busy with the mundane life. So this is a really, these two cards are freaking awesome some cards girl they're really really good cards and then we have this asshole no sorry I shouldn't swear and I shouldn't say that it's not this is really good what this is this is you honoring your higher self and this is you moving away from things that no longer serves you okay on an emotional level okay this is sun and moon energy but this is about so see how they're kind of walking into the cave there so into your cave to sign sit in your stuff and just you know really come back to yourself Okay, um, come back to yourself, come back to yourself. And this can be uh, walking away from anything that you're emotionally connected to. It can be an idea of something, right? It can be a friendship. It can be really anything because if you're emotionally connected to it, like you are, then you know that it's, if it's not, if it's not aligning to your higher self, then, you know, it takes a lot of courage and strength to walk away from stuff that aren't aligning with us. Okay. So this is really good. I'm, I'm really proud of you for acknowledging what isn't going right in your life and walking away from it. And yeah, because sometimes we can get really stuck in ideas of how things should be, how things should look and how things should turn out. And then we're blocking the energy of that Jupiter. We're blocking the energy of abundance in all form. And I will say when the Wheel of Fortune comes up and shows up for you in your life, this planet of abundance, of prosperity, then there's also an influx in your finances as well. Okay. Yay. To me, it feels like around this thing that you're doing here. Yeah, and I'm also getting step up, girl, don't be shy, okay? Step up and don't be shy. I'm getting that through from my guides for you. Okay, let me have a look and get some feedback from Tammy. Tammy says I need to do yin. Suzanne Otterson, hello. Okay, Michelle, feedback, please. Suzanne says when will we be in sync to catch up? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Next week, please, next week would be amazing. Or Saturday, what are you doing on Saturday after yoga? Suzanne Otteson. Okay. Okay, let me move along. Let me come back to this one here. Dun, 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 dun. How are we going for time? Amazing. I am having salmon, I was going to say meatballs, but that doesn't sound delicious. I'm having salmon patties for dinner tonight with chips and salads. I'm excited about that. Okay. Okay, beautiful Carrie Burgess. You're a good, good girl. She has shared and subscribed and now you guys know i can tell if you subscribe and then unsubscribe immediately right mm, that's cheeky okay okay christy says i oh my god i was supposed to give belinda a reading wasn't i told you i forget 
Did I do that? I didn't. Belinda, are you still with me? Belinda, are you still here? I'm going to do you, give you a reading. That sounds terrible. I'm going to do you. Um, she says you're special in and out. Now, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> but knowing me, I'm going to take it in a positive light. <laughs> Belinda, Belinda, stay with me. Did, oh, my God. I can't remember if I read you or not. Far out, man. Talk about needing to do some grounding. Okay, let me know if I have read for you or not. Far out. Okay, back to you, Carrie. Okay, I need to calm down. I'm getting far too excited. Okay, shared and subscribed. Shared and subscribed for Carrie Burgess. I've done, okay, let me have a look. Okay, Gemini, I've done the thing and applied for a new role at a different employee. Any messages on if I will get the role? Hmm. Interesting. Now, in your energy as well, I'm feeling some stress in your upper traps too. Ah, so that feels really tight. Tennis ball on the back. Roll around on that until you find that uh, pressure point. Carrie Burgess. Is she going to get this new role? Hayley Marie says, I don't think you did. <laughs> Uh, back to Tammy Preston. She has got feedback. Thank you, my love. She says, interesting. I have been looking into studies. That was really good. Definitely what's been on my mind lately. Thank you so much. My pleasure, you gorgeous, gorgeous thing, you. Carrie Burgess. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, Tammy, there you are up there. Excellent. Okay, hi, Kylie. Sorry, I'm getting some... Okay, Carrie, that's coming out for you. Oh, okay. Far out, Brussels sprout. See, I didn't swear then. Now, are there lots of people going for this position? Because I've got three court cards coming out here. I've got the Knight of... Bad boys, pentacles, okay? So we've got um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Slow, slow, slow moving energy. I have got the Knight of Wands, okay? This is usually coming up for people when they're moving, transitioning out of jobs, moving house, moving town, moving something. And then I have got this bad bitch right here, the Queen of Wands. So actually, I feel like there might be people going, are this other people going for the job? But to me, this is yes, you're going to get the position because, like I said, there may be other people going for the job. This is slow moving energy, but it's anchored, it's grounded and it gets there in the end. So this might not happen as quick as you think it's going to do, Carrie, or as you want it to. This is movement, okay? So movement into something that feels really good in your energy. And this is the bad bitch CEO job, okay? This is you sitting in your power in a position of your work that you want to be in. I love it. I do. This is really good. To me, this is a big yes. But yeah, interesting. Let me know if there's other people going for this job because core cards, that's a lot of other energy. But for me, for you, it feels real good. It feels really good. And I love that Knight of Pentacles. Even though it's a little slow, okay, even though it's a little slow, once it gets there, it's really good. I shouldn't go like that, should I? Oh, no, that's okay. I'm up here. It feels really good and it feels secure. It feels financial and it feels there's an energy of abundance around you, Carrie. So it feels really good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. But I really love this. Now, have you got a little, I feel like, have you got a dog? I don't know why this is a cat, by the way, but I feel like you might have a dog. I feel you've got an animal anyway. Okay. How funny. Jason says, auto captions cannot keep up with how fast it talks. <laughs> really? Is that a thing? How funny. How funny. Okay. Because when I'm taught, when I'm channeling, I talk super quick. Oh, Jason says he just got a package of crystals. What kind of crystals, Jason? Share, share, share. Oh, Belinda, good girl. You're watching from my YouTube channel. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> she says, you're excited because I'm bursting with excitement. Now, girl, have you hit me with a question? Have you got a question? Yeah, I'm buzzing, man. I feel like I've had, like, something. <laughs> I feel like I've had something. 
Okay, hit me with a question. Let me scroll down, scroll down. So Belinda, Belinda, Belinda. Oh, good. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, Carrie has got two dogs, three cats, and a Flemish giant and three chickens. Now, can you please let the whole feed know what the a Flemish giant is? Sounds like an oyster. Okay. A mazonite palm stone. Amazing. Okay, sorry. I'm back to where's my beautiful Belinda? Here we go. Let's go, go, go. Show. Okay. Let's have a look. Belinda. Yes, I did. Generic. What does the universe have to tell me? Ooh. Okay, let's have a look. What has the universe got to tell Belinda? Mm. <laughs> okay. Saturn in Libra. Oh, there's that night energy again. Okay. So there's decisions that need to be made. Mm. Okay. This isn't clear cut at all. So there's moon sitting in Libra. Sorry, not Saturn. Moon in Libra. So this is decisions that need to be made, Belinda. What's going on in your life? And you know what? When this card shows up, it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma because it's kind of you don't really want to make a decision. It's not a lighthearted, um, easy breezy decision. It's a hard decision. Okay, that blindfolds on because you don't want to see. You don't want to see something. You don't want to make that decision. The moon comes into this energy because it's like okay blindfolds on, start to listen and tune into the energy of the emotions behind you. Okay, use your intuition. Notice how you're holding, you're kind of blocking your heart there a little bit, Belinda. So what's going on in your life at the moment where you're kind of not really wanting to see the truth in a situation and it's around the way that you're thinking about this, okay? There's a lot of emotions can, and I'm feeling your stress. You're so tight through your trap, through your upper traps that it's, Oh, so, um, yeah, I feel that stress there. But I feel like you're really kind of digging your head and putting your head in the sand around a situation. Um, what's happening? Okay, more on my marriage life, etc. Okay, so whether, so yeah, so there's a decision, difficult decision coming up that you need to make and you're being told to listen to your intuition, be guided by, by your heart, not your head, swords are your head, get out of your head, sink into your heart. That, and look at this energy coming through again, okay? This is this energy in movement. So whether you're moving out of the home, whether you're transitioning out of your job, your career, okay? So you're moving, That this is a, if, if it's not a transition or a movement, it's this energy of Leo, Sagittarius, or um, uh, uh, sorry, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. But it's, this person's moving into this decision that you need to make. At the end of this reading, there's a coming together. There is a coming together. So this card comes through, Mars and Capricorn. This could be the card of counselling. So if this is a marriage reading, I'm not sure what's happening with that marriage at the moment. But, yeah, this is the card of, it can be the card of business. This doesn't feel like a business reading to me for you. This could be the card of, you know, getting counselling, seeking help, getting advice. But there's a third person coming into uh, yeah, this feels like there's three, three people in this reading. Let me just do one more card. Oh, Benji says, hey, my mum Hayley Marie is watching. Ah, oh, so I came to join. Hey, yay. Hi, Benji, welcome. And your beautiful mum Hayley. Okay, Belinda. Mm. Okay, so that's fallen out. Now, this is, this is an intense-looking card. Yes, it is. But Gemini, the sun sits in Gemini in this energy. It is a painful ending, okay, but it's a painful ending that had to happen. And you wouldn't think it's like, oh, how, why does the sun sit in that? That's random. Now, the reason the sun sits in this card is because it's a painful ending that had to happen. So can we see the sun in the background there? So when this happened, this is like a like kind of like a, a slow version of the death card painful ending so new energy can come through so the sun comes through for you belinda so you can shine and have your vitality back the universe wants you to sit in the beautiful magnificent energy that you are have you lost yourself in this heavy decision that you've had to make or this kind of yeah do i do this or do i do that okay now this doesn't have to be say the end of a marriage or anything like that like we can calm down a little bit and think well what, what is it that needs to end? What is it that I need to release out of my life around the way you're thinking about something? This is about your thoughts, okay, the way that you're thinking about a situation that needs to end. Now, the way that you think that may lead to an actual painful ending, but it's like 
how are you thinking? So your thoughts, yeah, a painful ending around the way you're thinking about a situation, okay? Let's get that light in. Let's bring that sun in, okay? Let's bring that in for you. Oh, God, I keep on trying to get a good card for you. But there's anxiety, there's stress, okay? Mars sitting in Gemini again. I'm wondering who's the Gemini in your life? So there's stress, the stress, the stress, the stress. Let's get a big outcome around this for you. Okay, there's that card. New beginnings, okay, new beginnings. So this does sound like it's heavy energy for you, but look at that, new beginnings. This is around passion, around your joy, and around, you know, aces are big deals. Aces are big deals. So we've literally taken you on a journey here from the decisions, the movement. Maybe there's some, um, you know, counselling or some doctor's appointments or there's something to do with a third party coming involved. Then there's an ending, there's a stress around that ending, and there's a beautiful brand new beginning for you, gifted by God, okay? The aces are gifts from God, and it's a really, um, there's action in that gift. It, it's going to get you moving. It's going to connect you to your back, back to your back to your light. Okay, back to your your sun, back to the beautiful sun that you are. Oh, she says, oh my god, you are good chick. Oh, so that was a journey from beginning to end. But think about, look at the ending. Okay, that ten of swords has to happen. So you need to kind of go through that painful ending around how you're thinking about something, so that beautiful shit. That beautiful ace of wands energy can come in. Okay, so without that ten of swords, that ace of wands energy isn't going to be able to come in. Okay, so look at the painful endings as amazing opportunities for growth and expansion. I spilled my water everywhere. Blinda says, thank you so much. My pleasure. Kylie says, this is a random one, we have just had five baby bunnies and not sure what type of rabbits they are, though. <laughs> How cute. I wish we could share photos on here. Okay, let me come back here. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Lisa Marie, oh, yeah, Belinda says, how true. Angie says, wow. Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry, Belinda, I'm getting to you. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Um, Carrie says she's 13 kilograms. So are we talking about a bunny? Is that that um, the bunny? Because I definitely am going to need to see a picture of a 13 kilo bunny. Like I need to see that and I need one of those in my life ASAP with my Maine Coon cat, but I'm allergic to the cat. Um, yeah, but I, I need a 13-kilogram bunny. One hundred. My chihuahua might um, freak out. Actually, all my dogs might freak out about that. I, I would actually freak out about that, but I do need to see it. Please, can you show us? Are, are we able to put pictures on here? Because I feel like I need to see that. A rabbit, 13 kilos. Oh, sorry, Kylie. Oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> Does that exist? That's like a scary fucking bunny. But I'm just thinking those ears must be like bigger than mine. Claire says, I love your energy. It's infectious. Thank you. Would love a reading about my future. Much love and blessed be. Oh, beautiful. Okay, Lisa, let's have a look. Okay. Lisa Marie. Is life going to get a bit better for me? Okay, guys, let's have a look from Lisa. Let's give Lisa some hearts, please. Let's give Lisa some love. Some love for Lisa, some hearts. That's a challenging time, that's for sure. So, Lisa, I'm feeling some energy for you. Right, I've got my jumpsuit on. Um, it's sitting right here on the top of your right foot. Okay, so what's going on that you're having some trouble moving through? What's going on in your relationships? What's going on with a with a relationship in your life where you're kind of having trouble a navigating it and b moving through and getting and um you know kind of yeah transitioning or. Yeah, because it just feels like there's some stuck energy there around male energy in your life and it feels kind of, it doesn't feel like it's grounded or anchored. It feels like it's, mm. we'll throw it away. I'm loving this for you. Okay, I'm going to keep it at that. This is really good. Everybody, yay for Lisa. 
So you've got Mercury in Cancer, and look at that. That's just a card of joy, right? It's a card of celebration. It's coming together in um, coming together with, with with people, with friends, um, in in a really beautiful, heartfelt, emotional way, and the celebration around that. Okay, so this is really, really good. And you've got brand new beginnings coming in, my love. Brand new beginnings coming in. I feel like your work is suffering at the moment. So to me, for you, it feels like this is um, going to be something that's really good around your work, perhaps, maybe your career or money at least, okay? So it feels like there's new opportunities coming in for you around these areas. And it feels like it's going to be um, really, really great. I love this for you. I really, really do. This is awesome. So that's 100% yes. Things are going to get better for you. Sort of instead of saying like reframe that as well, the way that you're talking to yourself, it's like is life going to get a bit better for me? Reframe it and say, fuck yeah, life is definitely going to get better for me and I can't wait for it. I deserve it and I'm ready for it. I'm calling it in. So reframe the way that you're talking. Um, your, uh, and I know I said be specific, so 100%. But I feel like that we always kind of, all of us on this feed, need a reminder to just watch the way that, we, that we're expressing um, our words because words are spells. So we're literally creating and um, drawing in situations and circumstances coming towards us by the way that we're expressing ourselves, by the words that we're saying, by our self-talk. And our negative self-talk is going to attract lower vibrational experiences. So let's reframe that, Lisa, and be like, fuck yeah, I actually cannot wait for this shit to clear, for my life to get better, and for me to, because I deserve great things. I can't wait for that Ace of Pentacles energy to come in because it's my time to shine. I'm ready. Let's bring it in. So start to work in that energy and that vibration, and that'll call in a little bit quicker. I feel like I'm using my hands a lot. Okay. Hi, B. Oh, Carrie, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Friend me, please. Okay, let me move along. I've got a couple more readings and then I'll do a group card, guys. So wait at the end for a beautiful group card. I wonder if I have anybody after this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Jenny, let's do some quick ones. Jenny, hi, Jess. I shared and subscribed into your channel. I am a Leo Ascent, uh, Leo Rising. I'm a Leo Ascend Libra. Can I have a card? So I'm not sure if that's your son or your Ascendant. Okay, can I have a card about my work situation? Sure. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny, what's going on with Jenny's work situation? Beautiful profile picture. Okay, so what's going on with your work situation? You've got the legal card, justice, Libra energy. Ah, oh, there's you. So are you are you um, rising or are sun sign in Libra, Jenny? Because um, that'll be interesting. I'd like to know that because that could just be a shout out to your sun sign to say that that's you in this reading. Um, interesting. So we've got justice here. We've got contracts coming through. So that could be signing of new contracts. Actually, I love this reading for you. Either way, this is a shout out to your Libra energy and your sun sign. It could be new contracts. Are you working with children? Like, what do you do? Because we've got this energy here. We've got this Libra sitting in Venus, Venus in Libra, I should say. Now we've got this energy here of sun sitting in Scorpio. So it's interesting how this is coming through for you guys tonight. This is coming through in connection, like literal connection to with children and to working with children and to having a heartfelt connection with children. Usually the traditional meaning of this card is about nostalgia. And I'll give you that just in case this resonates more for you. Uh, nostalgia, looking back on your childhood, looking back on your past. But I'm wondering, do you work with children at all, Jenny? Because what's coming up for you is a really great, uh, this is sun sitting in Virgo. So this is, um, this is new study, new career, new line of work or doing something that you love and doing it on a regular basis. So for me, for you, I do see, have a kind of work situation. I'm not sure about if you're transitioning out or going into a work situation, um, but I've got contracts here. I've got working with children and I have also got doing something that you really love and you really enjoy. So <laughs> she says, no. 
<laughs> okay, so if we're there, so this might be about having to go back into your childhood and look at things from your childhood past, okay, or reminiscing about an old romance or about a love. So this is a shout out to your sun sign, reminiscing about a love, but this is about you doing something that you love and you're doing it on a regular basis. This is part of your routine. This is something that you enjoy, okay, and of course, it's called the apprentice card for a reason. So this is about studying and anchoring into something that you're connected to, that you actually do love, okay. Let me do one more card for you. Lisa says, you're the second one that said new beginnings and joy is coming. Thank you so much. I will start talking and thinking positively. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. One more card for Jenny, please. Okay. I love it. So whatever it is, if you're transitioning out, if you're going into new work, um, couldn't the Arsenal soccer players like big children? Uh, let me have a look. I'll scroll back up and see what that's. I'm um, security for Arsenal Football Club. Okay, so this is Empress Energy. Okay, this is Empress Energy. No, that doesn't feel like that. That's what that is for you, Jenny. Um, I could say yes, but that doesn't align with me for you. Um, it can simply be about going back and looking back at things in f uh, f fondly. Okay, so the, it, if it doesn't resonate, then I would say it's kind of literally probably just about looking back on things fondly okay that you're emotionally connected to so there may be a date coming up an anniversary coming up um something that that, that triggers you or doesn't trigger you or could trigger you because this is childhood stuff that takes you back to thinking about things from your past with a, a feeling of fondness okay but this is a beautiful card to finish for you and then we'll do a group card so this is empress energy okay this is about growth this is fertility so this is actually the card of fertility so if you're not wanting to have children or get pregnant then be very careful because these two cards showing up together is a red flag around uh, birth and around children but um, yeah so whatever it is that's going on I feel there's opportunity for you to plant some really good seeds for you to grow something that you've been wanting to do okay this is a really great time for you to think about what it is that you want to do and create those plant those seeds if you plant those seeds and you will get the growth that you need. It's a very grounded card. It's a really beautiful grounded card. It um, sits heavily in Venus. So there is um, a love of all the beauty in life in that card as well. Um, yeah, yeah. So plant those seeds, girl. Plant those seeds because you've got the, she says, thanks, that has meaning. Good, 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 good. Because there's opportunities coming up for you for growth. Not around children, apparently. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do a card. Thank you, my pleasure. Let's do a card for the group. So close your eyes, everybody. Take a few deep breaths. Ask your higher self, what is it that you would benefit from hearing right now? Card for the group, card for this amazing group. Thank you so much for staying on this whole time. I love and I really appreciate your support on both this channel and on my YouTube channel as well. You guys are amazing. Surrender. I can release the, my need to control. I can release my need to control. I'm going to read from the book. Okay, Jenny says, I love kids and animals. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, surrender. And I, this is definitely a card for everybody, right? I could just work out the alphabet. Okay, I'm going to come right in close. You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of the external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it is not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it, but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. Remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way they should be. Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and then let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. 
Mic drop, amazing. Jenny, I really do feel like this was really for you as well as for the whole group as well, but I feel like that need to release control and let go of preconceived ideas around how things should be is part of your reading as well, my love. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Have an amazing weekend and I will catch you guys back here same time, 5.30 for my show with my friend, my girl, Haley. Dueling Tarot. Peace out. Off for dinner. How do I? Okay, that was, I have to do that again. Peace out.